we are going to concentrate on this video on this. Uh, we're going to, it's either going to be pass or fail today. There's not going to be anything in between. So I have pulled up on the rod, which I thought would release the cylinder. It does not release the cylinder. And so now we're going to this. We're going to cut this sheath off and hope that I can get down in there and, uh, and uh, get the, uh, get to the pin. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, from It won't be possible from up here, but I'm going to have to start here and just cut as far down as I possibly can and uh, let's find out. Let me get all my equipment on and we'll see here shortly. So I got I got it pulled up as far as it'll go and then uh, I'm going to have to lay it over and uh, let's just uh, let's get this one here. I'm going to have to lay it over and then cut the rest of it off from underneath. I'll report out here to you in just a little bit. And then uh, worked on the silly uh, pressure washer today. I took the carb off. It didn't take long. And uh, got that jet cleaned out. So I'm going to be using this to clean this. It's the only reason I bring that up because I had to fix that before I went into this. So let's keep our minds on this. Keep our my eyes on the prize. I was fully expecting this to be far worse to do than it was. It only took, I bet it hadn't been 90 seconds I've, I've done this in. So let's drop her down and see if I can get to the pins. Okay, so I don't have to worry about all the uh, falling out of it because I blasted that out last week. So let's let her down. And there's a piece of wood underneath it, so. All right, well, let's unhook her, and then we'll see about flipping her. She's almost manageable when you, uh, still in there, isn't it? I don't know if you drop that on your ultrasonic cleaner, it may, it may just destroy it. So let's see what I can do here and, uh, and turn this thing upside down. Obviously, I need two hands for that. Uh, three hands for that, actually. Okay, we are here. And we've got to get our cutter all the way down. It's all the way down there. But, uh, that's all I got down there. Now, I may have to get the recip saw. This picks up a little bit, but I'm gonna get some gloves on. God, this thing is nasty. <laughs> I'm trying everything I can. Hopefully we'll get it cleaned up and working, so let's see. All right, she's cut. It was ugly. So this will be my first view into this and hoping, well, I feel terrible about that, but I don't know what else I can do. Uh, so we'll just put it there. So hopefully, if I can't get to those pins, then I just can't get to them. Uh, let's see. If I... oh, man, that's just heartbreaking in a way, but if it results in this... Wait a minute. There ain't nothing there. Are you kidding me? I thought they'd... So the brake is locked somehow in there. Oh, I thought there was going to be some kind of way to get to a pin here. There is not. Look at all that human hair. That's kind of disgusting, but anyway. Uh, uh, so there's no way, huh? Now, I've heard you can heat the bejesus out of this, and it'll come off, but it doesn't look like it to me. That looks like it's welded on there. I don't know what they mean by what. This right here, maybe? Maybe that's why it has these two things, these two keys. There might be a tool to go in there and unscrew that thing or something. I don't know. I really just don't know. Uh... 
I don't know what to say at this point. I just don't know what to say. I thought there would, might be some pins or an access panel or something. So the, truly, the only way is to get it to release. So, hmm. okay. Well, I'll just keep trying. Keep thinking. I'm scared to walk over it to it, but I've got probably several thousand pounds of pressure pulling up on that rod, and I'm afraid I'm just going to crack all the porcelain off the base, and uh, it's just not going to come out. I don't know what to do. Uh, even, I guess if I could find another base that worked, I would use it, but I'm going to go in there and look that up. But this thing here, I'm not going to even get close to it, but I have got, un, I've got tons, at least one ton of pressure pulling up on that rod trying to release that brake, and it ain't doing it. Let's just go back around here, okay? <laughs> This is the end. I'm going to have to give up. There's nothing else I can do. I can't find parts. I can't find anything. Nobody can help me. Uh, I don't see any reason in trying to continue. Don't ask me about that. I tried all kinds of ideas to do all kinds of things. And uh, this is a 590. And it doesn't really matter. So let's put her out here and get the power washer on her. So I've, I've reconnected the base, as you can tell by this big ring here, and everything. A couple of those pieces of hardware were missing anyway. I had some ideas. I don't see any reason in going into them uh, to just get it to rotate, and that didn't really work out. So let's power wash it. I have got to find a place I'm going to put it, and I think I know where that place is, and that will be its resting place and I don't have to worry about it spinning around although I wanted it to but it will recline so uh, I don't know just I tried as hard as I possibly could I'm going to go back to the my belief is that this was a defective barber chair from a long 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 time ago simply because the all the hardware crumbles just like I said about the Titanic, you know, this thing's 120, 140 years old. And under almost any condition, this stuff just crumbles. And it was cracked and crumbling, and that was broken, and it just, under any stress, it just, it just dissolves. So the rod, like I showed you a hundred times, is broken. Didn't find the parts in it. I don't know why. It's okay. Uh... We're just going to wash it, clean it. Now, the one thing I've got to do, I'm not going to take this video up. Uh, I'm just going to say this on a one and done video. Uh, the, I'm, I can't be happier. I'm uh, looking forward to blowing all the, the dirt and hair out of it and uh, getting the nail polish and fixing it up and all that other stuff. So uh, let's clean it up. It's got some other stains on it, but I'm not going to worry about that. And I know what I'm going to do about the surround I had to cut. I've already got a plan for that, and it's going to be it's going to look great. It's going to look better than uh, than those do. Those look pretty pretty awful. I'm going to reinstall them and put the little screws in the top and all. But I got I'm going to do something else. So uh, that reminds me. Let me look and see what I got. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. There's nothing. Sometimes. The smart fix-it man knows when not to fix it, when to give up, and what is this going to be used for? It's going to be used for a decoration. And uh, so I'm just looking forward to getting it back together, and I'm looking forward to cleaning the leather. I'm looking forward to uh, powder coating the ring that goes around the base. That's going to in, uh, involve the FLIR and a heat gun and seeing if I can get this cleaned into 400 degrees and uh, degreasing and doing it, I don't know, you know, it'll, it'll work out. I'll get it, you know, whole looks looking better than that anyway. <laughs> that looks rather abysmal. So that's it on this one. This is a nice simple one. I've, I really tried, I've been out here for hours trying different things.
There's nothing I can do. So give me a thumbs up for, for the effort, okay? Tell your friends to subscribe. Ring the bell if you would. If you don't, you know, try to, you know, let's all, I, every time I look at anything, I subscribe to it just about, uh, unless it's really awful. And uh, so even if they've only got one subscriber, I usually try to, you know, just say, you know, I watched it and I care about it. So you do that, and I sure would appreciate that. Let me get this thing upright and get it out here and clean it up and decide what I'm going to do at this point. I think I know. I think the safest place for it is going to be somewhere very nearby. Okay, stay tuned. We'll see.